In this episode, I'm going to look at another little Sony tape recorder. This is a TCM-454, little portable uh, standard size cassette recorder that uh, is not working. So I've got another one of these little tape recorders. This one's a TCM-454 VK. Uh, they call it a clear voice recorder, and it has uh, voice-operated recording. And unlike the other one, this one uses a conventional standard size compact cassette. This one doesn't work. When you turn it on, nothing happens. So um, we're going to take the back off this one and just take a look and see why it's not working. I don't know why I'm wasting my time on these little toys, but people like to see these little the inside of these little recorders. And uh, this one here, I found. So this is mine. The four screws out of the back. See, this one's got a speed control too. You can change the speed on playback. And there's the unit. Doesn't look like the belt is broken. Although, it didn't do anything when I put batteries in it. it. Makes things a lot easier when you're dealing with devices like this. Just use the... Use the, use the variable power supply. Okay, we'll put it in play. we see that the light lights up here. And, oh! Now it's deciding it wants to work. Interesting. It wasn't working with the batteries. Well, on the power supply, this thing appears to work. I don't know if we're going to get any volume out of it or not. Let's just see if it'll actually play anything. That's weird that it didn't work initially when I tried it on batteries. And uh, the batteries I used in it, I know were good. I take it apart and it actually starts to work. Let's put the, we'll put our test tone tape on this and see whether there's... Let's first of all see if, it, if it's on speed, but it probably won't be because this one has variable speed, but we'll just take a listen here. Uh, we have a problem. Listen to that. We have a bad motor. Oh, yes. See, stopped. I think this motor has a flat spot. Certainly not sounding very good, is it? If I put a tape on with music, it's going to sound horrible. But we'll just do that, just so you guys can hear how bad this thing sounds. I think we have a bad motor on this unit, which is unfortunate. Look at the way the tape is moving. How slow it's moving. See, it does have the speed control. I have a feeling the problem with this is the motor is shot. That's why it's doing what it's doing. Certainly not the belt that's causing that. You can hear the motor. Listen to the noise it's making. 
I think this mortar's got a flat spot on it. Now we can certainly crank the crap out of this motor and see whether I can spin any sense into it. We'll just uh, disconnect the power here. We'll disconnect the motor from the board and then I'll connect it up to the power supply and we'll give it a bit more voltage and see if we can spin this thing and get whatever is uh, making this thing stick like that uh, working. Seems like the motor's got a dead spot and every time it makes one rotation it's momentarily stopping or losing losing uh, speed. That's what it kind of sounds like. Okay, shall we connect the motor up and let her rip? How fast can we make this thing go? Oh yeah. I'm only giving like two volts right now, right? What I'm what I'm thinking I might be able to do with this motor is uh, if, if it's just a bearing that's sticking, I might be able to uh, spin it fast enough that I can actually free up the bearing. I, I, I highly doubt it, but that's the plan anyway. If I can maybe even take it out of here, I might be able to get this motor just to free up just a little bit. Maybe I can get some lubricant in there into the bearing itself. I'm not holding my breath though, but hey. You know, it's one of these little cheap tape recorders that uh, isn't worth anything. But uh, we'll still see if we can resurrect this thing. Gonna drop the chassis. We got a couple of screws on this side. I thought there was something holding it up. Okay, so the chassis will drop out now, with the exception of the microphone and the speaker. Okay, there's the motor. We'll get the motor out of here. What I'm curious is whether I'll be able to get a little bit of uh, lubricant down into the bearing itself and spin it, see if I can get that that noise and that seems like it's got like a flat spot I don't know if you can hear it when I spin it but Again, I'm not holding my breath that this is going to do anything. It's just kind of to see whether we can get anything, any life out of this thing. Let's just crank it up and let it rip for a bit. Let the lubricant do its job. Okay, it's running. Let's spin her up. Sounding nice and quiet now. I gave it like 10 volts there. <laughs> I don't think it's designed for that kind of voltage, but. Sounding a lot, uh, a lot better than it was. Okay, let's see how slow it will spin. So there, 0.4 volts is what I'm giving it. And it's actually turning. Now I'm at 0.16 volts. The motor is still turning. That's 0.15 volts. If 
finally it stopped. Zero point one five. one volt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a Q-tip here and I'm just going to wipe up any of that excess excess lube on here so it doesn't get onto the belt. We'll put this thing back together and see. I just put some WD-40 on it, by the way. That's, that's all I used on this thing. But I'll be curious to see whether this thing actually will do anything. Okay. Let's put it back into the chassis again. We'll, we'll make sure that we connect the motor wires backwards, you know, because that's just what we do, right? Black goes to the positive, right? <laughs> no, we'll hook them up the right way. Because I don't really need to have my tape end up all over the inside of the machine. Put the belt back on. Okay, I'll set my power supply back for 3 volts. There we go, 3 volts. 3.1, close enough. So we go for a tone. Let's see how bad it sounds now. reason it's making that noise is because my ground isn't okay it's still not great but it's a heck of a lot better than it was when we started when it uh, well you remember how bad the music sounded in it the first time right let's uh, take a listen to it this time So it works. Um, that's how you kind of fix a motor that's buggered up. A little shot of WD-40 and run the snot out of it with a power supply and it, it's made a difference. I'm getting a bit of noise here. That's just because uh, the motor is sparking a bit internally. It's actually getting better. It's not as bad as it was when I first started doing it. But if I load the motor down, you can hear the you can hear the, the actual um, sparks being created by the brushes on the motor being picked up by the amplifier. 
we can test this thing for record on this blank side of the tape for press down record testing one two three hello hello how's this thing sound and then rewind it a bit Well, the motor makes it sound pretty bad because the motor is shot on here, but we got the thing to produce some sound. So that's it on this one. That's the end of the, the road for this little unit here. So we say it, it, it works, but it's a bit noisy on the motor and that's just the motor that's causing that uh, because they, the, uh, the brushes are basically worn down. You can hear a bit of snap, crackle, pop there when I crank up the volume again for you know, if I play that music tape on here again it's um it's not too bad which way am I going on here it goes in this way it's you know I mean, these units are not designed for, uh, these are not designed for uh, music. What this was designed for is for dictation or recording, uh, you know, recording uh, lectures and stuff. It has the speed playback, so you can turn it up. Listen to something faster or listen to something slower. That was this one's claim to fame. It's not sounding too bad now. I got a lot of that noise to go away just by running it. It's just the uh, the, the contacts or the, the brushes in the motor are a little bit noisy and there's not much I can do about that. But I think I will call this uh, a semi-success because it's working in better shape than when I started with it, which it wasn't working at all. Is it perfect? Nope. Is it usable? Definitely. Uh, we'll put this one back together and we'll call this one a victory with no parts needed. Okay, there it is back together. I'll load a couple batteries in it for one final test to make sure that it still works once I get it together. Pause button work. There you go, it's fixed. Saved another one from the uh, scrap heap. Another one to put back into my collection of old little portable recorders. I'm getting quite the collection now of these things, but you know what? They're only worth having if they work. So that's another one to add to my collection of devices I'll never use, but hey, I've got them. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again in the next one real soon.